You got to grab this, folks. What if I told you you could spruce up your kitchen in one weekend without breaking the bank? Yeah. Well, my next guest says it's completely, completely doable. Here uh, with Kitchen Design Hacks are the host of America's Most Desperate Kitchens, HGTV Cousins, Anthony Carino and John Kalarnery. Yeah. What's up, man? Now, What's our first hack? Well, so our first hack, that ugly refrigerator that's been sitting around, whether it's cream color, whether it just doesn't match the kitchen that you have in the space, we've got two options for you. Number one is a stick-on stainless steel. This is a $60 fix. It's peel away on the back. You put it down on the face. We're not going to get into the whole thing here. But you put it down and you smooth it out. You get no bubbles in the thing. And when you're done, you've got this beautiful, clean surface for $60 fix. So when you consider a refrigerator is gonna cost you about $1,000 brand new, this is a great fix. Another one that we do all the time that we've done on America's Most Desperate Kitchens and on Kitchen Cousins, especially if you have kids, uh, chalkboard paint is a great option. So if you don't wanna spend the time to get uh, all the stick on stainless just perfect and all the seams hidden, you can take your old refrigerator, bring it outside, Brillo pad, scuff it up, and then roll on some chalkboard paint. Chalkboard paint is not only black these days. It comes in every single color you can imagine, just like the paint on your walls. And like I said, if you have kids, it makes a really family-friendly surface. It's also great for recipes and, and shopping lists as well. So. Hey, man, don't get no chalkboard stuff put on your refrigerator. <laughs> get this put on your refrigerator. Train your kids, hey. <laughs> They can't write on everything. <laughs> Develop the same model my mama had. Scratch on the refrigerator is a scratch on your ass. <laughs> yes. That's what I had growing up. <laughs> All right, now what's next? All right, let's get the next one. All right, so the next biggest hack is everyone always says, what do you do with the backsplash? I think we've all had that kitchen from the 1950s, 1960s, and you get that checkerboard pattern. It's just, it's horrible. It just doesn't look good. And you want to say, well, how am I going to brighten it up? How is it going to look airy and spacey? Mm -hmm. Now, you want to go something that's economical. You can go with a glass. This is anywhere from three to $500, so cheap. Now, you compare that to going high end. Now, tile can run the gambit, guys. You can go from $1,000 to $3,000 on tile, depending on what you want. This is an easy fix. It makes the space look larger livelier, brighter. You could even do acrylic, which is even cheaper. That's about probably 60 to to $100. And it goes on with tape, some liquid nails, very nice and easy. But it's about doing that easy fix to get you through the period of doing the big renovation work. And, and the mirror makes it look bigger. Makes it look bigger. Yeah. Well, and it also shares light. And the nice thing to remember about glass shares is- light. Yeah, so the light hits it and then reflects back, makes the room look bigger, but it also makes it look brighter. <laughs> And it, there you go. Sure. Well, but most importantly, Steve, when you, when, you want, when you want to check yourself out, you want to you make just, sure you look good, you go right... Right over the stove. Right over the stove. Am I looking good? Yeah, it's looking good. Perfect. I love it. Uh, <laughs> and the other thing you got to remember about glass is you can get an acid etch. So if you do like that vintage look or that craftsman look, you can get an acid etched glass, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring the brightness of the mirror down a little bit, but it's going to give it a lot of visual interest within the glass itself. All right, final hack. What else? Final hack. That? Countertops. This is something that can become very, very expensive. These are the old school countertops. They're laminates. There are some good laminates out there today, but in general, it's an older look. It's, it's not, not warm, something that's not really warm and rich. It's not something that's really up to today's aesthetics. What you can do, the most economical countertop you can do is butcher block countertop. So basically, you can do your, your entire kitchen for about two to $300. Really? Yeah. And the nice thing with butcher block is you've got a lot of different species of wood, and that species of wood dictates the color. So you can go from a nice light wood to like a darker walnut or an ebony wood. Mm -hmm. so, so you can work with the cabinets that you have. And best of all, if you do get scratches on it, it's a little bit of sandpaper and then some food safe mineral oil over top, and you're ready Gone. to go again like brand Back new. in business. Back That's in business. It. Easy. Redid your kitchen. For not even a thousand bucks. You're talking a couple hundred dollars to redo everything. That's it. And, it. and it will update it and make it look beautiful. And, that, and that's what we want. That's pretty good. Well, let's take a look 
Check out how all these hacks look in a fully revamped kitchen. So, check it out. Now, Steve, now this, this is a kitchen. This is, this is looking nice. That's pretty good, man. I, <laughs> this is the cold yeah. fake move right That's here. That's the fake move, That's man. That's the fake move. That really, that messed and, me up. And I'll tell you what, this really is a weekend. I mean, this is a couple of hours. You gotta take your time with it. You wanna get everything just right. You will need a circular saw if these are not perfectly sized and you gotta get them fit. You'll either glue them down or silicone them down. And like John said, the backsplash is some liquid nails or some double-sided tape. So take, you know, take a little bit of time. And, and other than that, you know, just a little bit of patience and you guys can do this in a weekend for a real economical uh, amount of money. Wow, that's pretty good. My man, thank y'all so much. Good to see, Good to see you, see you again, baby. Yes, sir. Want to say thanks to my buddies, Anthony and John.